Deep in the fiery crucible of a relentless conflict, at the very core of Eastern Europe, a fierce battle rages, with Ukraine and Russia locked in a deadly dance of warfare. This cataclysmic clash of nations, a chilling epitome of humanity's struggle, relentlessly grips the world, ushering in a flood of international attention and intervention. Our journey into understanding this conflict begins in August of 2022. The United States sanctioned Alina Maratovna Kabaeva, reputed to be Russian President Vladimir Putin's girlfriend, as part of a series of measures targeting Russian elites in response to the war. The Treasury Department also announced sanctions against other oligarchs, a major steel production company, and individuals operating in Ukraine in collaboration with Russia. Moving to February of 2023, U.S. National Security Advisor Jake Sullivan warned China of real costs if it provided lethal aid to Russia in its war on Ukraine. The U.S. had intelligence suggesting that China was considering sending drones and ammunition to Russia, but no final decision had been made yet. In the same month, China expressed concerns about the Ukraine conflict spiraling out of control. The country's top diplomat, Wang Yi, met with the head of Russia's Security Council, Nikolai Petrushev, in Moscow. They agreed to oppose the Cold War mentality and strengthen multilateral cooperation for global governance. They also discussed the situation in Ukraine. Meanwhile, Russia conducted a test of an intercontinental ballistic missile, which appears to have failed. This test took place around the time President Joe Biden was in Ukraine. The U.S. was notified in advance and did not view the test as an escalation. Russian President Vladimir Putin did not mention the missile test in his State of the Nation address. However, he formally declared Russia's suspension of participation in the New START nuclear arms reduction treaty with the U.S. The United Kingdom hopes that Putin will reconsider his decision to suspend Russia's participation in the New START treaty, as it jeopardizes global security. The Ukrainian president, Volodymyr Zelensky, has not seen any official peace plan from China and is counting on international support to end the war. China has expressed willingness to work with other countries for a ceasefire and lasting peace in Ukraine. In conclusion, the ongoing war between Ukraine and Russia has not only strained their bilateral relations, but has also drawn global attention. The United States, the United Kingdom, and China have all been involved in various capacities. The US and the UK have imposed sanctions on Russia, while China has been playing a more diplomatic role. The war has resulted in the testing of intercontinental ballistic missiles, suspension of nuclear arms reduction treaties, and calls for international support. The world watches on as this conflict continues to unfold.